So here we go, guys. We've got the NHL X Factor top 50 players that have X Factor. So, in a short bit, I'm going to introduce you who all the players are. Um, I know a lot of people are complaining about the uh, some of the players that have made on the other teams. I'm going to show you uh, a picture on who on each team will have it and which teams don't have players. So stay tuned for that, guys, and I'll be right back in a second. Oh, Tomas has the puck behind the net. He circles out, backhand, scores! What a goal by Thomas! Oh my god, what a beauty! Hey guys, welcome back. So we got the uh, NHL 22 Top 50 X Factor players picked for, by EA. Um... Yeah, so like I said before, um, some EA choices are, I don't know, they're not very good or they just make some silly choices on um, players they pick or just certain things that they're not doing. Um, I think a uh, prime example is um, seven teams got left off the X Factors and I just, I don't know, I think and I could have some players picking this. Um, Seattle. Especially when you're introducing Seattle to NHL 22. To the game. You got Arizona not picked. From Central. And the Atlantic you got Detroit and Ottawa. And then the final one is Columbus. I don't know. Uh, we'll go down to the X chapter and we'll just show you who the, uh, the shoes are so far. So we got... Uh, Shock and off by Austin Matthews. Can't disagree with that. He's got one hell of a shot. Staying with Panarin make it snappy because that's what this guy does. Most of his goals are making it off off the brush, shooting top corner or, or down low. And then you got David Pasternak on the Schneid where he shoots the top corner. Okay, so then we got here down here we got uh, Nika, Nikolai uh, Kucherov make it snappy. Same with um, Brad Marchant. This one I'm kind of debating on here. I don't. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. Jake Gensel is uh, snipey. I don't know. I think he would take him off Crosby line. I don't think he's that great. But maybe I'm missing something. Maybe he, I'm not saying he's not a bad player. But I just don't think he should have been there. But that's just my my opinion. But anyways, let me let me know down below what you guys think. I don't know so far. So then we got the uh, Alexander Ovechkin 1T. This guy loves doing these kind of goals from his knee. And you know you know it's coming, but you st the goalie still miss it. So then you got this next one here, a thunderclap, John Carlson. This guy loves doing these shots from the point, and it's hard to save him because the guy's got a quick release. And then finally got uh, Alex the Brinic that make it snappy, where you know he's really fast and he comes off the brush, and most of his goals are these shots. Is he just comes in, and just shoots it, and it goes in. So then we got Crosby, beauty backhand. This guy loves getting goals off the off tips or backhand goals, and you're like, how did this go in? But Crosby's the man; he, he does it, man. Finally, uh, we got Shea Theodore getting some love from the A, uh, heat seeker from the point. So this could be a really good. Uh, useful thing you know maybe maybe it'll make the uh, skills owners uh, more wiser about the guard the, the point shots now hopefully this will work hopefully then you got Mike Scheidt getting some love from EA finally uh, for, you know past years he's just he's been a good player to use but just hasn't ever loved so they got him a snipey okay and then we go down here we got uh, another great shooter getting a little older but he's still Still really good at, on on the shot is uh, Steven Gansko's one T. Then Jack Eichel injured right now. I'm not sure what's gonna happen with him this year with the Buffalo Sabres. We know his captaincy has been taken off. You know that, so he's been used as make it snappy. So we'll have to see how that goes. And then we got uh, Dougie Hamilton as heat seeker. So he got traded to the or oh, not traded. He, got, he signed with the uh, New Jersey Devils. So that's a good good pickup. So 
we're gonna go down here and we'll just show you a little glimpse of what these um, abilities do. Just take a gander, I'm not gonna read all these, just take a gander and look at it yourself. Give it a couple seconds. So let me know what you think so far for the shooting players they, they chose. The only one I don't like is Jake Genzel from the Denwin. That's just my personal opinion. Okay, so we're gonna go up here to the next category. Skaters. So these are gonna be like the fast skaters, the guys that have really good agility and stuff like that, which so far can't really disagree with these three players right here. So we got Nathan McKinnon, um, ankle breaker. And then you got uh, Matty Barzell, Elite Edges, so he's going to be a really good agility. And you got Conrad David, um, this guy is, has blown past the fence, stick handle past the fence and scored some outrageous goals. And you, I'm just shocked that some of these plays he's doing, teams just not stepping up and, and leveling him down, but he's getting through everybody, so it's good, good choice for that one. And you got Cal McCarr finally getting some love from the A, um, Elite Edges, so... We've seen him do it in the, in the playoffs and by the season where he's skated backwards a little bit and got some good shots. And you got Braden Point finally getting some luck from the A. Wheels. This is another one. And I'm not thinking against Pittsburgh Penguins. You're probably saying, oh, he's making fun of Penguins. No, no. I think Penguins have got some good players. I just, just think it's time for Pittsburgh Penguins to step, step aside. And I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm not seeing it. this one in reverse, but I don't know. That's just my personal opinion. So I'll just go down here, show you a little bit of the uh, skating out, uh, abilities. So take a gander, look at that, a couple seconds, and I'll scroll to the next one. Okay, so then we got the uh, hockey IQ. We got Patrick Kane, puck on the string. Okay. We got Seth Jones, quick pick. So you've already seen that in the uh, trailer that he's going to be. In that now, I heard some rumbles that this could be a really, really good pickup from uh, if you pack him in a pack, keep him because you already sell him for a lot of coins. It could be a good uh, pick. This one, a lot of people are and uh, not fully really saying it's gonna be that good because we know Barkov's not a very fast skater, but he's got some good, good moves. But I don't know, maybe this could work. I don't know, I'll have to see. So he's got all of them. And then we have the next one here, big tipper. Joe Pravalski is one of the best tippers in the in the league, next to Tavares, could have picked in this. Um, Brosby, another one. So yeah, good pick for this one. Quick draw. Hopefully add more to this quick draw thing. Because I think another guy top uh centerman, we know who the top centermen are when you face up is Bergeron, Taves, Ryan O'Reilly, Sean Couture. Um, all these guys are really good at face-off, and Kopitar are really good at face-offs too, right? So, and then we got this guy right here, Landry Cog. He's a really good uh, pick for Chris Crasher because that's what this guy does. He's on that line with, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, the guy that plays with uh, Nathan McKinnon. Um, I forget what his name is, but he's, he's going to be the next down below. But th this guy sits in the first line, and this is what this guy does. He just picks up the garbage, but they, they can't finish. But this is a good pickup for Enderkov. And then you got Kopitar for quick pick. Yes, no, I could agree with that. He's a really good defender on um, picking up pick, uh, the puck and a lot. And what he could be used for the centerman, too, right? Quick draws. So we'll just go down below here for Aki IQ abilities. The player I was, I was mentioning was uh, Ranton. He plays them with Ranton. So Ranton pretty much is a passer to McKinnon. And then you got Landry Cobb playing the garbage. That's what he does. So you got Puck in the string, quick draw, all alone. Just take a gander what what they, uh, what they represent. And then we'll go to the next one. And you got passers. So tape to tape, you got Leon Drysdale. Great pass it to uh, Conor uh, David. Like I said, Ranton got tape to tape, so that's why I said he's a good passer. And you got third eye, Sebastian Aho. Okay, and then you got another third eye for Mitch Marner. Pick. John and Huberdor, tape to tape. Third eye for um, Elias Peterson. For third eye. And then you got uh, 
Romanowski or send it. So this one could have been picked for many players like Keith, Dowdy, Eric Carlson would have been a good pick for this one. So we'll just go down below here and we'll just pick the uh, passing ability. Let me know what you guys think so far through these uh, X Factors players being picked. Okay, so we'll just go down here, let you read that a little bit, and then uh, yeah, for the next one. Okay. Okay, so there we go. We have the defenders. So we got here Victor Hedman, stick him up. He's a really good defender, one of the best ones in the league in the game right now. Mark Stone has moved himself from like third, fourth line to like top tier defender. Uh, yoink. And then you got Bergeron. He's going to be used as a face up guy too, but he's really good defending the puck and, and uh, getting down for breakaways or two on ones. So that's a good pick for Yoink. And then same with uh, John Kirkudia. He could have been used for phase up, but they have him to stick him up. I just wish they would have had more like guys like Taves, um, some other guys that maybe I'm missing. From... Let me know who you think could have been in this category too. So you got Alex Colangelo shut down. Good choice. And you got Jacob Slevin, another good uh, shut down defenseman. He's been doing really well for the uh, Carol uh, Carolina Hurricanes. So we're going to just go down below and let you read up. These uh, yoink, stick them up, and shut down what they, what they represent. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think so far. Like, who do you think should have made the X Factor and who shouldn't? It's okay to disagree with it and not, you know, be uh, really toxic about it. Just, hey, it's an opinion. It's okay to have an opinion, man. So, then we got the goalies. So, this is where I'm really want interested in the team. So, we got uh, Venturis. We got uh, Andre Velasquez. I love this guy. I've always liked him as a goalie. I think he's always been one of the top tier goalies. I just wish that he would have made him a little better than in the past. And then we got Carey Price. Um, what can you say about him? Hopefully, EA makes him really good in the game. Post to post, he can be actually valuable and cut where he's worth a lot of coins, not just chump change. Because we know that sometimes they go with the bigger goalies making better saves and all that, right? So we got post to post. And then we got Connor Hellebuck dialed in. So he's been really good in previous years. So we got him in the NHL hot game where he could maybe be worthwhile getting and worth a lot of points. So anyways guys, let me know who who you think could have been in a better goalie in, in these categories. Who are they missing? Maybe they could have had more. But I want to see one legend guy get into this and this would be a really good pick because Dominic Tasha could have been a really good choice with this one right here where Velasquez is. So we're going on the goaltending uh, abilities and we'll show you who they represent okay so here you go I'll let you take a look at them and, and go into them read up what they what they do well, there you go guys so that's it for the video let me know who you think should have been picked or who you shouldn't should have been in the video and um, I don't know just let me know what you guys think and if you're new to the channel please subscribe Leave a comment down below, guys. Like said, and hit the thumbs up button. It does help out a lot. And I'll be back for some more videos of NHL 22, guys. Catch you later for the next one, guys.